as of July 2020, 76 factories are in operation. 28 of them are completely new factories. 48 are existing factories that have brought proposals for expansion under the 1D1F, and they've had the proposals approved and funding provided. So 48 of them are basically extensions to existing factories, while 28 are completely new factories. In all, 232 factories are at various stages of uh, completion. The government, in, in hand in hand with the 1D1F, is also proceeding on what we call the strategic anchor industries. Now, this is also government in partnership with the private sector. But these are to set up strategic factories. Basically, factories, this will be on large scale, and factories that, that will, be, will be selected, or the enterprise will be, the project will be selected based on its ability to solve a crucial need and provide a, what we call growth pools to the, to the economy. Even though we do not have a factory in each district, the progress that has been achieved in industrializing Ghana by President Akufado's government is remarkable in the history of the Fourth Republic. This is the most determined push to achieve an industrial economy for Ghana since President Nkrumah. Ghanaians, particularly the youth, must vote for this determined effort to secure for ourselves and our country an industrialized economy that produces and sells for both exports and the local market. This industrial push, when you add it to the free SHS, and you add it to the systematic digitization of the Ghanaian social and economic processes, we will very soon secure for ourselves a country where no youth would be uneducated, with a vibrant industrial economy and a modernized digital society.